Hello, here is my directly downwind, faster than the wind, spinning table. And I've just turned it off, and so it's slowing down. This motor under here is slowing down. Ignore the horribly twisted spring. <laughs> I built this in just a few hours uh, a while back. And I'm dejunking the garage and trying to get rid of it, so I just wanted to make the last video I wanted to do. So anyway, you see it slowing down. Um, the cart has now come to a stop on the ground and there's still a breeze. You can think of it like the wind is coming, is just slowing down. The cart is sitting stationary on the ground and it's just moving through the air. So in fact, it's like there is a breeze on it in a different reference frame. Okay, so it's coming to a complete stop. The purpose of this video is to show this guy self-start. So there it is, it's come to a complete stop. The cart can move and the propeller will spin if it moves. It's just pivoting on this little center shaft. That's all. Okay, this guy is a piece of steel taped to the carbon fiber shaft. It's just as a, it's just a weight to keep this from falling off. This shaft is just part of the bolt that is uh, holding the table onto that shaft. This is a piece of a fishing pole. It's attached to some brass tubing soldered together. The wheel has a little axle here. That's just rubber tubing with a washer holding it on there. This is a very fine spring that came from a, a shaft seal. It's the uh, annular spring that's in most of those seals to help hold the lip against the shaft. And uh, this just a flexible little spring, that's all it is. And it's just shoved into this axle and shoved into that axle and it makes a simple one-to-one -one transmission. It's pretty awful as far as efficiency. It's not very efficient because it kind of wiggles over and rubs on the edge of the wheel sometimes and stuff. And these shafts, which are big enough to accept that uh, spring, are fairly large. They're, they're really bigger than they need to be and so they cause a significant amount of drag just for the size and mass of this thing. Um, if you've seen my the other video I made on this, uh, it had a different propeller, which was slightly smaller diameter, the same pitch, uh, and the blades were narrower. So this one has wider blades. It just simply, they're just simply, you know, bigger this way. They're slightly longer, but they has the same pitch. So the propeller has the same advance ratio to uh, the wheel's rotation. Um, I can't remember what, what uh, Xyla and, um, anyway, I'll, I'll go into that later, but. Yeah, so there it is. I'm going to get it started by turning on my power supply. So now the motor is like pushing against that spring and the table is beginning to move. Don't worry, the motor is rated for far, far higher voltage than I'm putting through it, so I'm not causing any undue heat. Okay, so here we go. No cart movement yet basically as though the wind is picking up. Picking up. Picking up. And you'll see the propeller start to flop here and there. Maybe. Sometimes it gets kind of stuck. But it should go. There it goes. So it's still going slower than wind speed because it's still moving in the same direction as the table. But it's speeding up. It's now approaching wind speed. Still approaching wind speed. More and more of that propeller blade is beginning to come out of a stall and fly. And there's wind speed. Now it's going faster than wind speed.
and there you have it. You can hear the little spring whacking against the side of that acrylic wheel. <laughs> And it will continue to do this as long as I let it run. I'm assuming the propeller doesn't fall off or something, which does happen occasionally. So yeah, it's just gonna keep going. I'm, I mean, I could let this video go to 10 minutes. I don't think I wanna do that, but I'll, you know, the purpose of this video is to convince people who are very committed to the idea that this breaks physics. Um, so, those should be the only people watching this. And I'm gonna just let it run. I'll keep it in frame. I'll walk around. Trying not to hit things. <laughs> So there you have it. The motor is just spinning away, running the table. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know how many feet it's traveled now. We can probably count up the number of times it's run around this table. I think I made the table like four feet in diameter. So that little boom is, I don't know, like 24 inches or 20 inches long, something like that. And it's running, looks like it's running significantly less, like it's, it's revolution speed within the room reference frame is significantly less than the table. So it's moving at much less than two times wind speed. But it is moving faster than wind speed, and it will continue to do that forever. So um, I'm going to do a few things to um, just let you see a bit more of it, what it's doing. I'm going to switch to widescreen. OK. So I'm going to try to slow down, slow it down with my finger. Okay, there's wind speed. I'm gonna push it again and like kind of make it go the same speed as the ground until I hear the sound of that rolling disappear. There it is. Okay, so it's sitting still on the ground. I'm basically holding it back by continuing to push on that rod or the boom. But I'm gonna let go. It's picking up speed, picking up speed. And it's fast. Sorry, there's a fly in my way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do some other things. So, I'm just gonna let it bounce off my finger here. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen trying to make sure I stay in frame. Hope you're satisfied. And if you're not, that's okay. Let's just talk. <laughs> I'm happy to explain this as many ways as I can think of. And I'm actually, it's, it's fun to like hear what people are thinking about this and understand how they're thinking about the problem. It's just, even if, even if, it doesn't agree with what I understand about physics and what I've learned about physics formally and informally. It's still fun to hear a different perspective and to work through that conversation, you know? So letting it come to a rest there, holding the wheel off the table.
Yep. I don't know, uh, I don't have any more ideas about ways to show you how this works, but I'm sure you'll think of some. So, have a good one, everybody.